a guy committed a crime. His friend took the blame for it because he said, you have something going for yourself. I know you have a brighter future than I do. So I will go down for it. You just go out there and be great. What's going on, y'all? It's Ayo and I'm back with another video. As y'all can see, I got the Chinese fried chicken in the building. So I'm about to go take Grace. I'm gonna tell you what I got, and I'm gonna start eating because I'm really, 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 really hungry. All right. Father God, I come today to ask you to watch over this food. Please let it be a nourishment to my body. Please let me digest this food properly. In your name I pray. Amen. Amen. One time. Amen. Y'all got the Chinese chicken in the building. I have some shrimp egg rolls. And then I got a side of beef with broccoli with extra gravy. Because I like, y'all know, I like sauce. Saucy sauce, sauce, sauce. I like sauce. Per. Y'all look at these wings. They are freshly. Ooh. Y'all see that? They don't be playing. They don't play. And y'all already know what I got. The hot sauce. So do. Because we're not playing today. Because I'm starving. I'm starving. How are they going then? My day going good. I've been ripping and running the streets all day. Which is why I ain't eating. Now I got food. It's so good when I have to talk. How is y'all summer going? That's what I should have asked y'all. I know people been going out. People been partying. People going back to work. Shout out to y'all. Some people are even going back to school. Let's see what this beef and broccoli is hitting on. Y'all think it's good? I hope so. Got a bite? Mmm. 
It was good. Though. I've never had anything from this place other than what y'all used to eat the chicken and the egg rolls. That's too good. Mm. I'm impressed. Black stuff on the floor. Whatever. Whatever. Y'all gonna get into our topic in a second. Yeah, I promise it's never noise in my apartment complex until I'm recording. I don't know how, but maybe they peeking through the window or something. I don't know. And if that's okay, I'm sorry, y'all. I said we're gonna get into our talk in a second. Yo. Mm. Oh, this is good. Okay, so our topic for today is going to be <clears throat> kind of like what would you do for your friends? Or what would you give up or what would you sacrifice for your friends? I'm gonna give y'all a scenario. So, the scenario is, I'm not sure if y'all know who the City Girls are. They're a rap group from Miami. Now, it's made up of two, two women. You got Young Miami and got JT. So they came out and they blew up. They blew up. So right as they started to get bigger, or Notice, I should say, JT got arrested and she went to prison for scamming. Um, and she went, she was in prison for a year. Now, the whole year that she was in, in prison, Young Miami was still doing everything that she needed to make sure that City Girls stay, you know, relevant. So, now my question is would it be fair for her to share all that money? with JT who didn't do any of that work. So I wanna hear y'all opinion. Now most of the music that she was promoting was clearly already recorded. But Young Miami had to do videos by herself, she had to do performances by herself, bookings, features, etc. All while JT was in prison. So what part of that do you think belongs to her and not them? That's what I want to know. We go. I don't mm. I feel like when it comes to anything that she did that was previously done that JC was included in, cool, that's City Girls money. But when it came to like bookings and features, 
Although she did it in the name of City Girls, it was only her. So do y'all think that she should have to split that money? Cause I would be looking at my friend like, I'd be like, all right now sis, you know I, 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 I held this down, what's up? But on the flip side, a friend would not let any money come in between them. That's real friends don't do that. However, I'm not friends with anybody that would even put me in that predicament because my friend would be like, you held this down, that's yours. So I wouldn't even have, I wouldn't even have a decision to make because I know my friends. I know my friends. So what do y'all think? Because literally, Young Miami held it down, y'all. She did feature after feature, which, you know, made them bigger. And she was doing videos, pregnant, performances, pregnant, BET Awards, she was pregnant. Like, So do y'all feel like she should have while JT was in prison, do y'all think that any anything she should have did should have said young Miami of the city girls? Or do y'all think it should have said city girls? I feel like that's very interesting. Excuse me. Like I said before, you shouldn't have to question if you're going to put your friend on, if you're going to help your friend out. But on the flip side, your friend should not have to make you question that. Your friend should be like, you did that, it's all yours. That, that's how I look at it. So if it was me, I would be like, you did that work. You got it. It's, it's yours. You know, maybe break me off a little something, something, but there's no way that I would have had my friend. I'm not saying this is what they did, because I don't know. There's no way that I would have my friend split that 50-50 when I didn't put in 50% of the work. That's just pure. Now, if that is what happened, I appreciate and I applaud Young Miami. I really do. I really do. I appreciate that she valued her friendship that much. I definitely do. Can't say that I agree. But... I get it. I get it. Y'all see me trying to eat my left hand? <laughs> no, I'm not left handed. How would y'all feel if y'all friend put you in that predicament? But anybody that know me, anybody that know me, y'all, they will tell you, you can come for me. You can come for me all you want to. I might have my moments where I get you together. I probably would. 
But you come for somebody that I mess with, oh, gloves is off. Look, Doc, I'm good at that. I'm good at that. But I was also watching the show. Which sparked uh, my interest as well. A guy committed a crime with his friend. But because of the street code, he took the blame for it so his friend could be. That's what it was Notorious. Boom. The, the Notorious B.I.G. movie. Biggie had the gun or did some with the gun? I can't remember. But. Excuse me. His friend took the blame for it because he said, you have something going for yourself. I know you have a brighter future than I do. So I will go down for it. You just go out there and be, and be great. Yeah. Um, Not to hurt y'all. I was at a loss for words. For multiple reasons. One, it really, it amazed me in a good way that somebody is that good of a friend that they would give up their freedom. For their friend. But then it, it also had me feeling like, ugh. He thought that less of himself that he said, I know you have a brighter future than I do. So you go be great and I would just take the blame. It was like, ah, like, ugh. He was young and black, like young black man. And really thought that less of himself that he didn't have a future. So he was willing to go to prison. I was like, ugh, Jesus. All right. It was a good thing. But then it was still, it was like a, hmm. I don't know. It, it just, it had me stuck, y'all. I literally had to rewind that part a couple of times. And each time, I, I was conflicted on how I feel like I should have felt. I really was. Mm. I really conflicted. Because it didn't make me think. Yes, he was an amazing friend for taking the blame. But then again, on the flip side, how bad of a friend does that make you to allow your friend to take the blame knowing that it was your fault? Let that sink in. Because it, it's like, it's a catch-22 and you're really not sure what to do. Because, of course, you, you're going to want what's best for you. But you have to remember, you reap what you sow. And the consequences that come from whatever decision you make, you have to live with. So why allow somebody else to take the blame for your mistake? How many ones have got left, y'all? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Dang, I ate 12 wings. I had 20, y'all. 
And I'm feeling like an 812. I'll be eating. And eating. I'm trying to think if I ever let my mom. I don't think I've ever let a friend. I'm more than positive. I never let a friend take the blame for me. I'm almost like 100% positive. Now, I mean, when I was younger, I would do stuff like with my sister. Like if I break something, I would strategically place it back in place to make it look like it wasn't broke. But then when somebody else come behind me and they touch that same thing or whatever, it, it breaks. Even though it was already broke. Now that don't count. That don't, that do not count. I'm gonna hit anybody's mouth. I know that don't count. <clears throat> Ooh, excuse me. But, but I'm gonna do is go ahead and eat one more wing because I'm gonna get full anyway. <clears throat> Bless me. So, we're gonna eat us one more wing. And then we're gonna call it quits. Because I'm getting full. And I got stuff to do. <laughs> I always got stuff to do, though. I'm telling you, I, I, I feel like I never have a break. I feel like every day there's something that needs to be done. And if it ain't, then there's something that needs to be done because I need to figure out why something don't need to be done. Therefore, I'm finding something to do. Okay. So, I would let him do. I would, it never failed. And then today, y'all, I am literally running on fumes. I got in the bed last night at like 1, 1 a.m. Y'all, I'm not gonna sleep till after 6 a.m. I remember looking, I'm, I'm just watching TV, watch it, Ugh, excuse me, bless me, I'm sorry, I'm just watching TV, and I remember looking at my phone, and I saw it said 6, I said, 6 what? It was 6 a.m., y'all, and at that point, I'm like, no, you have to go to, like, something got to give, and then I just remember waking up, and it was 9.30, and I'm like, what? I slept for three and a half hours. Like when I looked at that clock, I just knew it was gonna say one o'clock, two o'clock. It was 9.30. I slept for three and a half hours. If that, <clears throat> bless me. If that, because I remember looking at the clock saying 6 a.m., but clearly I didn't go to sleep at 6 a.m., so I don't know. Mm. All right. I'm full. I don't know what my um. I have some wet wipes. My fingers. I don't know how to do them. All right, y'all, I'm about to go inside now. You yeah, already know if you're not subscribed to the channel, hit the red button right there. Boom, hit the bell right there. Boom. <clears throat> so you can be notified each and every time I drop a video. But if you want to check the AO traffic, jump back to the description box, go down to the bottom. Brr, boom. Go to some social media Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram, all that. Brr, and follow me. Let me come to Instagram. Let me do my Instagram. Let me come to do whatever. Let me know what's like, what's don't like, what's wrong, see what I'm say, what's wrong, 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 what's wr